everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a look inside our moon unit study. Now the moon unit study is revised and revamped and was previously called lunar lore. So if you purchased lunar lore, do not purchase this. You already have all you need. All you have to do is update or re-download or email me. We revised it, we updated it, and we expanded it. So it is now better than ever and it is a full unit study and we are so excited to be sharing it with you and I can't wait to personally use it in our homeschool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So the moon unit study is 18 lessons. Here's the table of contents. Next up, you have unit study resources. Now these are suggested extras. They would make great morning baskets, afternoon baskets, bedtime baskets, just great additions to the unit study, but none of them are required. But here are some suggested books, games, videos, and hands-on activities. And then we have some moon sensory play. So here are the supplies or ingredients needed, the setup instructions, and then some more information on some of my favorites and why I like to include sensory play. And then each lesson follows a somewhat similar setup. So here's your, like your unit study page that kind of has all your basics. So for the introduction to the moon, you have supplemental books, a YouTube playlist. This is a clickable link and a scannable QR code a Pinterest board with additional crafts, again, clickable link and scannable QR code. And then here is a hands-on activity, a little bit of like why you're doing this activity, your materials and your instructions for it. And then there are reading passages. So you can either read these aloud to your child or you could have them read them themselves. And some sort of activity, like a worksheet of some kind. phases of the moon. Again, same setup, your supplemental book list, your YouTube playlist, your Pinterest board, your hands-on activity, your reading passage. This is kind of where you're getting the bulk of your learning from. This has all been done for you already. And then here are some discussion questions. You could either ask your child them and just talk about them. Or if you would like, you could ask them to write their answers, maybe in like a spiral notebook, if you want them to do the writing. And then again, some worksheets to reinforce what they've learned. So here we have moon phase labeling and then moon phase matching. The Apollo missions, same kind of setup here. All of the coloring pages are original hand-drawn artwork that Kevin has done for us to include. Man on the moon. And we are going to be talking about Buzz Aldrin. He doesn't get talked about enough. So in this unit study, we are focusing on him. And then lunar lore. So this is the section that was included before. The hands-on project here is going to be for you to photograph the full moon each month. Here are the different QR codes for each month's moon. Your introduction to lunar lore your overview. So this has each of the months and then the dates that the full moon is going to occur for 2021 and 2022, the moon name, and then the reason it was named that. So this is just a really good thing, honestly, to put in your own planner so that you know what's going on. Full moon observations for each month. And then each full moon has a coloring page with what the moon is named a acrostic poem for your kids to work on. Moon senses so that they can go experience the full moon and then write what they see, smell, hear, and feel. And like I said, each month just repeats like that. So you have all 12 full moons. And then in the back, You also have a blue moon and a super moon as well. Extension activities for older kids and a few reviews. So this is moon phase matching review. This is full moon name review. So they would match the 
the month to the full moon name. And then this is fill in the blank. So this is some of the things that they learned throughout this unit study and they'll be able to fill in the blank. So some good review pages there as well. No Wild Aqua unit study or product would ever be complete without games. So the moon unit study does include three different printable games. So this really is everything that you need. The first game is a moon phase bingo. So you would pick the calling card and then you would cover up the moon phase that matched. So you would pick up the new moon card and then you would use some sort of bingo chip and you would cover up the new moon. And then obviously the first person to get three in a row would be the winner. The second game is a full moon matching or memory game. So you would have your child either just match the month to the moon name or you could play it like memory and then when you flipped over two cards that matched such as june and strawberry moon you would keep them and then whoever has the most at the end wins the third and last game is a true or false trivia game you guys know that we love trivia so anytime i can incorporate it i do i also love that it gets kids um, playing and thinking at the same time so we play it very similar to professor noggin we take turns with the card so true or false, there are 15 phases of the moon. And then down here in the corner, the answer is false. So if the person answers it correctly, when you ask them, they would get to keep the card. And then whoever has the most cards at the end would win. So I would keep that one if I had answered it correct. Then the next person would ask the next question, which is true or false. There is no air on the moon. That answer is true true so if the person answered that correctly they would keep their card and then again whoever has the most cards at the end would win now you can have your kids just use it like flashcards and quiz themselves they could pick it up and just put their thumb over where the answer is if you didn't want to play it like a game which is totally acceptable there are many different ones so you could play it multiple times and still not memorize all of them so that is everything included in the moon unit study. We are super excited to do this one and I hope that you are too. If you're gonna to be joining us and you're gonna jump into the moon unit study, let me know in the comments down below.